What's up, Dead Stars? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here, and if you are new here, my name is Ashley. And two years ago, I had my first thyroidectomy. Yes, you heard that right, I had two. I had the left side removed, and then the right side removed, along with 14 lymph nodes. Not only that, but I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. And because that happened to me, I feel the need to make these videos to educate you guys on, you know, just what exactly a thyroid is and what it does to the body and how crucial it is to the body. So if this is something that you guys would like to learn more about, go ahead and stay tuned. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you end up enjoying this. And if you like me and what I'm doing here on YouTube, no pressure, but I would like to have you around. Anyways, let's get started in everything that you need to know about the thyroid in under 10 minutes. So the thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped organ that is located directly at the base of your neck. You guys can pretty, well, I, I think you guys can see my scar. It healed really well, but it is right here at the base of my neck. The thyroid releases hormones that controls your metabolism. And this is really important because this is the way that your body uses energy. The thyroid is so important because it regulates important bodily functions such as your breathing, your heart rate. The thyroid is also responsible for losing and gaining weight, your metabolism, muscle strength, menstrual cycles, which really kills me. You might have trouble regulating your body temperature, which I do. My extremities are always freezing and it affects so much more in the body. And I do encourage you guys to check out the sources that I'm linking down below so that you guys can be fully educated as well. The thyroid gland is approximately two inches long. So let's use a ruler to see how big that is. So from there to there, that is how big a normal thyroid usually is. And just to give you guys like a better idea of, you know, where the actual location of the thyroid is, it would be where the Adam's apple is located on a man. The thyroid is made up of two sides. Like I mentioned, I had mine removed left side and then right side, but it does lie on either side of your windpipe and it is connected by a small, small strip of tissue called the isthmus. Say that one five times fast. It's it's smiths, it's smiths, it's smiths. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Some people, however, are born without an isthmus <laughs> and instead have two separate differentiated thyroid lobes. So like I've mentioned in previous videos, I will leave my whole thyroid cancer uh, playlist, which I am changing the name of to the thyroid archive. Let me know if you guys like that <laughs> down below. I've mentioned that the thyroid is part of the endocrine system and I've defined that in previous videos. So go ahead and check that out. But the thyroid does use iodine from the foods that you eat to maintain and create two of the main hormones, T3 and T4. You guys probably see that on your blood tests when you go have blood work done. I'm going to try and pronounce these words for you here. <clears throat> T3 is tri tri triadothyroidine and T4 is thyroxine. Please correct me if I am wrong, but it is very important that your T3 and T4 levels are neither too high or too low. Uh, if you do not have a thyroid or if you have some sort of thyroid deficiency, you will be taking some sort of synthetic hormone, which I do. I take Synthroid and I have a whole video educating you guys on what Synthroid is. So the reason why you need a thyroid is because the T3 and T4 levels travel in your bloodstream to reach almost every single cell in the body. To make this su super clear, thyroid does not pick and choose who it affects. Men and women have thyroid disorders. Children can have a thyroid disorder. The elderly can have a thyroid disorder. I'm serious. If you suspect that you have any sort of thyroid disorder, please get it checked out. So if your T3 and T4 levels are too high, which is hyperthyroidism, you may experience anxiety, irritability, nervousness, hair loss, or missed menstrual periods if you are a woman. Now, there is a lot more, but I'm going to make two separate videos, but like differentiating between hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. So just to touch on a few symptoms that indicate too little T3 or T4 in the body or hypothyroidism, which is what I am, you may experience trouble sleeping, tiredness and fatigue, even though it feels like you want to sleep all day, your body just does not want to let you go to sleep. Try skin and hair, which I don't thankfully have to deal with, but I do deal with the depression. Like I mentioned, sensitivity to cold temperatures, frequent and heavy periods. My Lord, 
I want to die when I have my period. And joint and muscle pain, seriously, that one gets me mid-afternoon, like right now, I've been up since nine this morning, and I've done a lot today, and right now my whole body feels like I got hit by a garbage truck. But I'm trying here, man, I'm, I'm living life, and I'm doing what I have to to feel better. So I don't wanna get like into too much because I've already made a lot of videos talking about the thyroid and like what it is. I just wanted to make a specific video educating you guys on just where and what the thyroid is and how it affects the body. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, I will be coming out with them once a week. Don't forget to check out my playlist titled The Thyroid Archive, linked down below. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe if you want more and I will see you on Friday. I'm putting on a new video every week now. I'll see you on Friday for my next video. Sayonara, suckers.